Could you, I mean, that, that call for uh, at least a na national probe or a conversation on this matter, a parliamentary probe, that's what has been proposed by some, so that the, the narrative coming from both sides and the document that has been provided, at least for the greater good and in the health and also the wealth of our people, the young people, being preserved, at least to establish whether or not something had gone wrong. Is it one that you support? My brother, um, good morning to all your viewers. And um, before I make my submission, I brought TV3 a copy of our manifesto. You and I want to officially or present. No, you don't. I want to because no, if you do, see. most of the things that goes on in your program, mm -hmm. keep this in your library. You, 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 this is you official. Well, I'm giving no, you this one is, so that no, everybody no. will see that you have one. So when we are interrogating you guys on our manifesto, we know that we've officially no presented one to you. So this is a copy for your library. Yeah, well, we, we do have one. I, I'll get you one, but uh, let's okay. okay. So let me go on to say that, look, this issue that my brother Honorable Blackwa is talking about, for me, is not an MPP or an NBC issue. It's not a political issue. At all. At okay? All. He has documentations which mention Buffer Stock Company, which is a limited liability company, FDA, which is an authority established by law, uh, Lamex, which is a private company. None of these companies and none of the people who have signed any of these things are on any political platform seeking re-election or nothing. This is a matter of criminality, if it's true. Okay? Let's not, I don't, and I want to find out from my brother when he first got wind of this thing. When was the first time he got wind of this thing? This was uh, a few weeks ago, a less, few than, weeks. less than a month ago. Okay. Yeah. So this thing happened in February, right? Yeah. So fact, it started in December, December last year, yeah. and for somebody to think that it's a political issue, and only a few months ago it was given to my brother, who is the big expose, who sits and puts some of these things out there. But this should have come out when all these things happened as far back as February. And let me learn. It's a matter of criminality. If it's true that all the documents here is true, there should be the CID, and I've seen letters from CID investigating this. And we should insist on the CID finishing the investigation, prosecutions done, and people go to jail. If it's true, right? And I doubt, because there's a, a lot of documents in front of Honorable Blackwa, that shows that there is some level of complicity going on with FDA, Lamens, and Buffer Stock. But it is not a political matter. Ah, the chief of staff. Oh, yeah. my brother, stop that well, thing, please. No, 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 no. It is not a political matter. I've seen it on a lot of platforms, people trying to make it an election matter where, oh, MPP cannot come back to power because they fed our kids. Look, these kids were fed this, if it's true. And I don't doubt the fact that I've seen St. Monica's invoicing it and taking it in. So some schools might have consumed. But they consumed it in February to March. I think by now, going to screen the kids now will not have any effect because this was, because uh, if I hate no, rice, some, no, some if, I did, if, some if, if, if the rice still exists, yeah. then that matter should yeah, go on. But for me, it. I'm yeah. seeing that rice that was distributed in February and it was consumed in February, we're going to screen the kids now. The, the, no, the, they were not all consumed in February. Well, that's fine. So if, if it's still there, it shouldn't be there. Because even if there was an extension to April, right? It means that the extension from December to April has expired six months down the line. And by now, the insect infestation will have increased. Yeah. Because rice that is gone, is popped, has the first thing you see when you open it is the insect infestation. Mm -hmm. So if the rice had in insect infestation in February, by now, that insect infestation would have increased because those insects will have multiplied quadrupled by now. So look, I don't think that we should look at this issue as if it's a political cover-up. Okay. I don't believe in that. And Dr. Mahmoud Baumia would investigate this thing if he's president today. See, and, and that's where I was coming to. If, if you say that this is not, yes, it will not be a political matter, but it would be a leadership failure matter, and that we cannot I, take away. Well, I because don't, you leadership see, all, of these things, yes. all of these things that you are mentioning, mm -hmm. yeah. which you say should have taken place, yeah. Yes. Yeah. or some people should have been jailed by now, yes. All these institutions, in fact, one yeah. of the three institutions mm -hmm. you mentioned are headed by politically appointed yeah. persons. Well, they should be fired. That's the and, point. And so if they are not that, let's go, now, no, that's fine. So February and now. Yes, but what, what I'm saying yeah. is that, look, a, a lot of people, and that's where my problem is, mm -hmm. Nana Adudankwa is not on the ballot for 7 December. 
He's not. Yeah. This thing where Martin Pegu and yeah. everybody wants to make it. No, 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 no. I know. But you see, this now. issue where my brother, Honorable Blackwa, let's not. He's wearing a very nice shirt with John Mahama here and sitting for one hour talking about this. What do you think it is? It's political campaigning. And I hope you guys give him the bill for that because he's campaigning no, on your platform for one hour. This, this let's move it. What I'm yeah, trying to say is that this is not. A, yes, I agree, this, this which is, not, is what we should all do. Which is what we should all do. But let's not V it into. The fact that because somebody, some institutions, that are none of them on the political ballot, none of them political, all these institutions should be held to account. If it's a leadership failure, I agree. Leadership failure on the head of these institutions. Who have not been fired as well. Well, that's fine. You can, let's and have that conversation. Are, who are political appointees. Well, let's have that conversation. Yeah. But my point is, and let's not, uh, yeah. Yeah. Martin, please, can you leave it out? You have your own issues with the presidency. No. We all know that. So let's leave it there. <laughs> Let's not make this issue an election issue. Let's not make this issue a political issue going into a 7 December election. Because the person who is our leader, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, will prosecute this thing vehemently. And he is appalled when he heard it. I was because I was seated next to him. That is why the Minister of Education has come out to issue a statement that is going to be if the criminal investigation we will not investigate it. The Ministry of Education is going to institute an investigation. So those that were left off the hook, come 7 December, don't think anybody's going to get off the hook. Dr. Mahmoud Bal, Miaisha Allah, the next president of this country, will investigate and prosecute. So this is not a political matter. So you're saying that the Ministry of Education issued a statement? That they're this, going to do an investigation, yes. And they've known about this since December well, last year. Well, that's fine. But my point is that, yes, yeah, let fine. them do. Well, no, it's, it's fine it's, as in they've known fine. about it. They've not acted. Uh -huh. That is the issue. We should all, my brother is proposing what, a commission of inquiry. Uh -huh. We all support that. It's criminal. If a private company brought in unwholesome food and fed it to our kids, it's criminal. But my point is that let's not bring in MPP and DC into this matter. It is not. It is a fact that, look, my, my brother has a lot of documents in front of him. They have signed by people. None of the people who signed these documents are political. They are technocrats who are going to be in that position if Mahama is president or uh, DMB, Dr. Mahmoud Bahamia is president, right? These people are going to hold their positions. No, no. No, but I'm just no, saying, but no, unless yeah. you investigate and fire them, you have to no, fire no. them for due course. No, you, you can't know, just fire are, them. You no, have to investigate and no, fire them. No, the president appoints these CEOs. No, no CEOs. Most of the documents, most no, this of the this signed. CEO No, that's fine, but you have documents signed by other people. The they are other people. Are political appointees. Well, the NAFCO, Never, all I'm the saying NAFCO is that you cannot appointee. sack the people NAFCO without due process. You have to investigate for wrongdoing and sack them. So if you have to investigate for wrongdoing, then you sack them, which my leader, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, will do vehemently. So, so are you saying that? But he's vice president no, no, now. You no, don't no, think no, that? No, you don't think he can? You don't think? You don't think that as vice president, as chair of the police council, he can ask the president to take action on this matter? Hold on. 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 So if you're saying that, let's go by, you don't want this matter to be politicized and be made an election year um, issue or an election matter, but you still make the promise that Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya would do something about it. If that he is, is president. If he is president. Yes. That's obviously you taking political advantage of this matter, but I'm not going to go into What's that. that? Because so, one, that you don't want us to make it no, yeah, but, my, but my matter. point is that, but no, no, the point, you, you, often, saying, the yeah, point he, I'm making he, is that, let's not, on the platform action. that I saw this, on the uh -huh. platform that I saw this, the first time I saw this thing was in Kwabri Puntio, which is in the Shanti region, one of the platforms, right? Mm -hmm. And most of the conversation on there was that, ah, MPP is so weak, we have to get them out of government because they fed, it. but it's not that topic. But do you think If that, we do that, you see, if we do that, we lose sight of the importance but, of this. So, so, so take because, action. Because, yes, but that's the point. That action should be taken. I am joining you. Yes, but, but, but. I'm yeah. joining you let's on have, this platform let's have an to say that let's, let's arrest the, the criminal who engaged in this. 100 percent. So let's not do that. No, no, no. That's what the but hold on. Has anybody said they won't act? Ministry of Education said they are going to issue an investigation. But less than 24 hours, we had the PRO defending the company. That oh, laments. Well, that's uh, fine. Uh, do, do, from, no, do, do, those are issues we can talk. But let's take the politics out of this. Okay. You, I don't see well, where I your problem is. Where if you say it's fine, I find I don't. There's nothing really fine about this. In, because you, in one breath, you understand the concerns about yes. how this has impacted or uh, yet to be established the situation and the health of, of the students who consume this. That's paramount. 
The second issue is that if you are deferring, for instance, the confidence in an action being taken in if Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya becomes president, that's concerning. Because if no action is taken now, I don't no. see Nobody how Nobody saying that, no action should take now. The person who is up, I gave you, but brother, I, who, who, listen, the, my leader today is Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. The point I'm making is that he is not the leader of the government of the day. He has no powers as president. The president mm -hmm. is Dr. Nana Dudanko. Until 7 January 2025, the leader of this country is uh, Martin's best friend, uh, Nana Dudanko Ekufado. Okay? <laughs> now... He is president and all matters goes to him. He's responsible and the actions and inactions come from his presidency. So let's move on. What I'm saying is that let's not make this thing and it's becoming. The reason I am on this platform to debunk that is that whether it's MPP or NDC who is president post 7 December would investigate this thing vehemently. Let's not make it look like there is a blame to be laid on the doorstep of the leader of my party, which is Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, because he's got nothing to do with this. It's, it's a, the, the blame is blamed squarely on the doorstep of government. Yes, that's fine. The but government, government that, is not the, the party. The, the, the government on, the, on the election of December 7, the, part, the government is not being re-elected. It is the party that's seeking election with Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. That is the problem. But, so what I'm saying is that there is criminality. Uh, that if it is proven. There is wrongdoing. That is if it's proven. There is enough documents on this table to show that there's a need for an investigation. I am joining my brother Ablaqua on this platform to ask for that. And Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is joining Ablaqua on this platform to ask for that. Because I was with him when this matter came up, and I know his sentiments on this matter. So if he's asking for that, what, what, why is it that nothing has been done about it? Nothing that? has been done when, Dr. Oh, oh, did, you, did you hear what my brother, my brother said? He, as a parliamentarian, only heard about it a month ago. So we are all hearing about it for the first time. So we are all joining in the chorus of let there be an investigation. But this thing has been going on for three weeks. Three weeks and... Since he put this out. Yes, but the education minister has come out to say that there's no an investigation. What is wrong with that? No, and that's what I'm telling you. That the education ministry cannot feign ignorance of this. He is not saying ignorance. My brother, why are you putting words in a man's mouth? No, I'm, Have you I'm, asked I'm him and he said he's not, he doesn't I'm know? He said, as of December 2020. Well, that's fine. Let's not Deputy put words Minister of it. Let's not put words. We, we all don't know that. What I'm this. saying is that the education minister have come out to say that there's going to be an investigation. Let's end it there and wait for the investigation. Why, is, why are we now saying he's feigning ignorance? Well, if you say there's going to be an investigation, investigation into what? Isn't, already, hold on, hold on, hold on. Isn't that what we are all they, asking they for? They already know what is in front of us. So why is my brother Black asking for a national inquiry if he, we already know? What has it? It is to establish the inaction. Thank you. So the inaction, then there is now consequences. That's what we all want. So the Ministry of Education wants the investigation to the inaction, whether FDA was complicit, whether Lamans, Lamans was complicit, the CID will be on board, and then whoever is complicit, then there will be jail and fire and then prosecution. Have you heard that the, is what we all want. Have you heard the public relations of the Ministry of Education? My brother, let's not veer. Let's stay on the topic. All mm -hmm. I could you I'm saying is that, mm -hmm. and we can go over this over and over and over. I don't think this should be a political issue, and it's okay. not. It is a national consensus. It's a problem that we all feel that it should be investigated, and all parties concerned. The Minister of Education has come out to say that there is going to be an investigation. Let's wait for that investigation. Let's not make it look. And I want to advise the people, the, our viewers, that let's not think that this issue is an election issue. It is not. Will the investigation be, be led by the Education Ministry or someone else? <laughs> no, or no, any yeah, other institution? No, no. I, I have, that do us any good I, I have stated ministry? publicly that the Ministry of Education cannot be trusted to investigate this. They are complicit. I mean, you read the FD investigative report, they knew about this as far back as January. They didn't take any action. Um, the Deputy Minister who is mentioning the FD investigative report is claiming that the FDA didn't talk to him. Meanwhile, the evidence is <laughs> really overwhelming. Look, Kojo Poku has a point that this is not a partisan matter. And you remember I made that point at the beginning of my submission, that this is about our children, fundamentally. That is my only motivation in this matter. However, Kojo Poku cannot ignore the fact that members of his government have failed to act. This is a matter that requires a certain urgency, a certain serious approach. As we speak, there's been no investigation into this matter. You heard the chief of staff say that, oh, it's all rumor mongering. 
I mean, how can you, looking at the evidence, looking at the fact that heads of schools have signed for these rights, been consumed by our children? The companies of laments has written a letter, 10 January, taking responsibility, admitting culpability, and paying half of the fine. And you say that all of this is just rumor mongering. It's just, you know, so it is the government's own conduct which is raising the political concerns that, look, this political party does not appear to care. And once money will be made, they will not prioritize the health and the lives of our children. It's just like the Galamse issue. If money will be made, party here, Sika, mm -hmm. some crony companies will profit from a system. They don't care. They don't care. Here we are. Look at this. Look, the FDA is one of the institutions that, look, we must all protect. It should be one of those strong institutions that all of us can say what we are buying in shops, what we are consuming really have gone through the crucible and have met high regulatory standards. But you cannot say that based on the FDA's own complicity. A company like this, indicted by the Auditor General from 2021, the FDA could not say that, look, we are blacklisting you. Mm -hmm. We are going to destroy all of this rice based on our 6 February examination results. And don't even write any letter to us. We are going to even prosecute the directors for engaging in this criminality. Mm -hmm. We will not entertain you again. We are taking you off the register. We are blacklisting you. Look, other companies have suffered grave consequences for far less, far less. Now they joke on the streets, all these shop owners, they say, oh, we, all, we are all going for extension. We all go for extension. We all write for extension. And we all read back. We all change the origin from made in India to made in Ghana. We will not even put, and look, you go and allow our heads to sign for food without expiry date. How would they know that they should not even go beyond a particular date? Look, this, this matter is so grave. Yeah. And it is shocking that all Kojo Poku wants us to hope for is for the unlikely event that Dr. Baumia becomes president, then he takes action. That no, itself, that that itself, that that itself should but tell you that uh, even, uh, even Kojo Poku, a stalwart of the now. MPP, knows that President Akufuado is not taking action, no, no, is not no, helping no, us in this that. matter. No, and that. we can't wait for Baumia. No, no, Lives are at but stake action, now. But the Ministry of Education have issued, have you seen that? No, but they've no, issued no, two no, statements. No, the no, first no, one, they no, said no, they will investigate. Thank you. Uh, they didn't know about it, which the FDA investigative report you know, exposes them. Then in less than 24 hours, uh, is it Kwesi Kwarteng, is that mm -hmm. his name? Yes. You know, it's now all over the place. Defending the company, he's become the spokesperson did, for lament. Did, did he say at any point that the ministry has concluded their investigations no. into this matter? No. Okay. Only last That's week, fine. the minister of education has issued a statement saying that they, let's not okay. belittle this but, statement but, but, so of the ministry of education coming out. No, I'm, I'm going to say that we should be very other government investigators. I have categorically, categorically say that the minister of education has said that they're going to investigate, and they are investigating. What is the? I mean, we all agree. Would, in the investigation. Would a, a parliamentary probe do us some good in this?